And so I put together an adapted as assessment from the Mayo Clinic to help you know if you are burned out, to help you know if you're experiencing low or high levels of fatigue and burnout. So here's the first question. Are you feeling cynical or more critical at work? Now, if the answer is yes, I want you to just put your finger out because I want you to tabulate how many yeses you have to this assessment. Here's the second question. Are you lacking motivation to do your work? If so, go ahead and tabulate that. Are you drained, irritable, and impatient with others? Like, just more than normal. You find yourself snapping more, getting, getting really impatient more than normal. Go ahead and tabulate that on your hand. Are you finding it hard to concentrate at times throughout the day? Here's some more questions. Are you feeling little to no satisfaction? In other words, there, are there some things that used to give you some satisfaction, but when you do them, you don't have any more satisfaction? If so, go ahead and tabulate that on your hand. Are you having difficulty sleeping or sleeping too much? Here's another question. Are you self-medicating? Are you overeating or using drugs or alcohol or self-medicating by spending impulsively? So go ahead and just tabulate. How many of these did you say yes to? Now, according to the Mayo Clinic, if you answered yes to any of these, you might be experiencing burnout or some level of that. And if you answered yes to any of these, I want you to know that it's not unusual. We are in a worldwide crisis that's been going on for five months. And when you have prolonged stress, your reserves are going to get drained. It's kind of like air coming out of a tire. You just let a little bit out every day, but over time that tire is going to become flat. And, and so with prolonged stress, you're going to have this depletion of your reserves emotionally, relationally, physically, and even spiritually. And, and, if, and if, you, if you feel like, man, I, you know, as I read the Bible, nobody struggled with burnout. Let me tell you this, you are not alone. Take a look up on the screen here. As you look up on the screen, you're gonna see that there are many of God's saints that experience burnout and depression. Jeremiah, David, Jonah, Elijah, Job, Moses, all of God's saints here experience severe levels of burnout. In fact, all of them, get this, they had suicidal thoughts. That's how fatigued they were. In fact, I'll point out uh, some of Jonah's thoughts that he had when he was talking to God. Look at this in Jonah 4.3. He said, and now Lord, take my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. Have you ever felt that way where you're like, I'm so overwhelmed or I'm so tired, it'd just be better if I didn't live. Jonah felt that way. And so all of these saints experienced burnout. But you know what? There's another one in the Bible that experienced burnout. I want you to guess who you think it is. Jesus. Jesus himself experienced times of fatigue and even burnout. In the Garden of Gethsemane, let me show you how Jesus was feeling. Let me show you his burned out emotions. In Mark 14, 34, Jesus said this, My soul is deeply grieved and overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. In other words, Jesus said, I am so sad, I am so overwhelmed, I feel like I'm going to die. Have you ever felt that way? I have. And so my point in sharing this is if you're burned out, if you're fatigued, you're not alone. Even Jesus experienced burnout. 